iOS 26 is officially out for everyone. I've been using both the developer and public betas for iOS 26 for the past couple of months, and after thorough testing, here are the top features I think are worth upgrading for. Let's tech it out. This one is a given, but the liquid glass design is simply gorgeous and will be the first thing you'll notice when you upgrade your iPhone. As the name suggests, the design language has been overhauled and animations, menus, and user interface has been given a glossy, translucent glass look. I think the new interface has a lot more personality. Swiping through menus on the control center has new life as buttons will bounce with each swipe and if you bring down the notification center, light will refract and reflect whatever colors or elements are underneath it. During the beta period of iOS 26, Apple messed around with different opacity levels for the UI and a major concern some users were worried about was legibility when reading text since a lot of the menus now have see-through elements. Personally, I think Apple found a really good balance in the final version of iOS 26 that shows liquid glass but at the same time still having text to be readable. For those who still find liquid glass to be too difficult for readability, there is an accessibility setting you can turn on that makes things closer to what it was before. To make the OS less see-through, go to settings, accessibility, display and text size, and toggle on reduce transparency. Overall though, I've been loving liquid glass and the fact that it looks consistent across iPadOS, watchOS, macOS, and all of Apple's products, this new design is enough to make your device feel new, especially if you've been growing bored of how iOS has looked for years. If you have AirPods, this next feature is pretty cool. You can now use your AirPods as a camera remote. When you have the camera app open and you're wearing your AirPods, simply press the stem to start a countdown on the camera app for a photo. Do the same thing in video mode and it will start and stop recording at the press of the AirPods stem. This is huge for content creators or for those who want to take group photos or videos from a distance. Apple didn't stop there for the AirPods update. They also improved the microphone audio quality by using machine learning to enhance the audio to what Apple calls studio quality microphones. This is what my voice usually sounds like using my usual external microphones and now this is what the AirPods Pro second generation sounds like after the new beta update, which should make it sound like studio quality microphones, according to Apple. Let me know what you guys think of the quality in the comments below. To get these, you'll need AirPods Pro second generation or the new AirPods 4. Make sure you're on iOS 26, go to settings, AirPods, and turn on AirPods beta updates. Keep your AirPods charged and nearby your iPhone for the update to install. But the good news is that if AirPods are all you have, you now have more options for capturing audio. Apple is using the H2 chip, computational audio, and beamforming microphones in the AirPods to achieve all of this. For the microphones, I was hoping maybe one can be used in an interview between two people, each holding an AirPod, but it only picks up audio from one AirPod at a time, so that's something to consider. If you have an iPhone that is compatible with Apple Intelligence, aka an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, your AirPods will be capable of live translation. This feature is super cool as it translates a language you hear in real time and also translates not just the words, but the context behind phrases. You can hold your iPhone up and speak back in your own language and it will translate them for others to see. If two people are wearing AirPods, the translations are seamless between the two and you can continue just speaking your own languages. Also keep in mind that the new features I just covered for the camera remote, studio microphones, and live translations will only work on the AirPods Pro 2 AirPods Pro 3, AirPods 4, and AirPods 4 with active noise cancelling. Other models will unfortunately not get this update. If you have an iPhone that has Apple intelligence, the new update brings something called priority notifications. iOS will intelligently adapt and learn what messages might be of high importance and lists it at the top of all your other incoming notifications. This is especially helpful if you're the kind of person who gets overwhelmed with tons of notifications to sift through and really makes notifications efficient. For those of you who use Apple Music, Apple added a really cool feature where songs will match the downbeat of the last song and do a time stretch to seamlessly transition just like a DJ would, according to Apple. And for the most part, it works really well. Transitioning of songs are scarily good, and combine this with the new animated album art, Apple Music got a big upgrade this year. Tired of spam calls? Good news. iOS can now answer unknown numbers with AI and show you the responses as text. This is great as it saves you time and potential risk when unknown numbers call you. Also, it's just super cool to have an AI agent basically answer for you, almost like a digital secretary. There's also a new feature called Hold Assist. Instead of having to wait on the line when someone puts you on hold, you can just go about your day and use your phone as you normally would. And when they pick up, Hold Assist will notify you that you're off hold and you can resume the call. 
These are really great quality of life improvements that I am so happy made it to iOS 26. I know the comments will go crazy since Android has had this feature for a long time now, but finally on iPhone 15 and higher when charging, your lock screen now tells you exactly how long until it's fully charged if you're under 80%. Screenshots just got smart. When you do the normal screenshot function by pressing the sleep wake button and volume up button at the same time, circle or tap anything and instantly get results from Google images or answer questions from ChatGPT. This is helpful for a variety of scenarios, like when you're on social media and you see a product that you wanna learn more about. Now just screenshot and circle or tap. Bonus tip, something I discovered by accident that I use daily is that iOS now gives you an option to copy and delete a screenshot so that the image goes to your clipboard instead of to the photos album. I love this feature as it enables me to paste and send quick images that I didn't plan to save to my photo album. Photos you take on iPhone can turn into 3D like images when you tilt your iPhone. This is called spatial scenes. And basically the way to turn this on is to look at a photo you've taken and tap on this icon here. When you do that, iOS will use machine learning to detect the subject and the background of the photo and automatically give it a 3D effect when you tilt your iPhone. On iPhones with Apple intelligence, if you go in the battery settings, there's a new adaptive power mode that smartly toggles low power mode and full performance modes based on your habits to extend battery life without constantly micromanaging it. So instead of manually having to turn on low power mode all the time, just turn on adaptive power mode and it will learn your battery usage habits and automatically let the iPhone run at full performance or turn off unneeded activity for you without you having to think about it. What do you guys think of these new features in iOS 26? The features I covered were just the ones I found to be my favorite and useful in day-to-day -day life. But if there are other features that you are fans of, comment what they are down below. And if this video helped you or you got value from this, please subscribe so I can continue to make more content just like this one. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.